Yes. It's Mrs. Nelson. For the next part of our activity, we want to consider the area of the square and compare that to the diagonal. So instead of having you type in your calculators repeatedly, we want to get smarter with our technology use. So we're going to have Google Sheets calculate that for us. So you're going to make a copy of this sheet and I've already added a column for the area of a square. So what you're going to do is you're going to enter or click on uh, one of these uh, cells and we're going to write a formula and the formula is pretty simple. We know we want to take this side measure and we want to square it or multiply it by itself. So there's a couple ways we could do it, but we're just going to keep it pretty simple. We're going to click that equal sign because telling it that we want to include a formula, a calculation right there. Then we're going to click on the value that we want to use. So we're clicking on cell um, uh, 2D, so row 2, column D. And then we want to just multiply it by itself. So I'm going to hold down shift and the 8 key, the number 8, because that'll put that asterisk in there, and it, that asterisk means multiplication. And then I'm going to tap on that cell again, so that it shows that I want to multiply D2 times D2. That I want to multiply my side times its side. Area of a square is the side times itself. And then I press enter, and it will give me that value. And then it will suggest that I go ahead and autofill. And you can do that by clicking the check mark. Otherwise, you could write the equation each time or copy and paste the equation from the first box. And I'll show you that. I'm just going to turn that autofill option off. If you click on that first box and then press Control C to copy it, you can click into each one of the cells and paste it. Or you can highlight all the cells that you want to paste into and then click Control V to paste it and it will change the equation. It's smart enough to change the equation knowing that it didn't want me to do D2 times D2 every time, but rather that side length in that row every time. And so you can see these are the areas that are related to the side lengths of these squares. So the area of square A is going to be 28 and 8 tenths square centimeters. Um, we'll watch another video in just a moment to learn how to uh, insert a scatter chart using columns that are separated from each other. Thanks for learning with me.